Good morning. We are back on the Cocodona course for another training mission course preview. We skipped ahead a bit. Uh, this might be the last one that I do before the race as it's coming up quick. We're just over two weeks away. And today we're up at Fort Tuthill, just on the outskirts of Flagstaff. I'm joined by two other fellow Cocodona runners. We got Pete again, and also Jeff Garmeyer here. Yep. joining in. Well, normally we have the Big Pine Trail runs here. This is a vaccination site. Uh, so we are gonna, of course, bypass that, but get going here. And we're, today's mission is we're scouting out the final 35 miles of the course. Probably be my last long run before race day. Okay, we're leaving Fort Tuthill here. And is this new? Okay. We can just go right around that. Okay, looks like we got a new fence here. Okay, this might be a problem. Currently, this is down, but. That's kind of odd. They would bake, they would block it off. We might need to do like a reroute to this path, possibly. Yeah, last minute reroutes. Yeah. Obstacles. I mean, at least we can still get through. The sketchy side, maybe. I may, uh, dude, I come, come in here like the winter and it's just like ice. Right by the Flagstaff Airport out here. This is a section I've never done before. It's pretty exciting to see it. So far, nice and easy, chill miles, but again, I'm reminded that we are at altitude here, up near 7,000 feet. <laughs>
we're near Fisher Point. Really cool. You wanna tell us about this area and what we're about to do? Um, so we're at Fisher Point, uh, the base of uh, Walnut Canyon. So um, don't go that way or you end up at the bottom of the canyon and you'll have a very bad day. Go this way. Like right behind us is the Arizona Trail. I think it goes that way. That's where we go. Yeah, so we go on stuff. the Arizona Trail. Yeah. Cool. Probably built in 2008, I don't know. After Jamil did it, he was a pioneer of it. Basically the trail didn't exist when I did it. Yeah. it. It built it all as I was out there. They didn't even have trails back then. No, so old. Bushwhacker. <laughs> Oh, I mean, at least that's a memorable turn, but that's a really easy one to keep going straight. Yeah. Wait, you just get so enamored by the rocks, you're like, oh, I want to go explore that. Yeah, I wanted yeah. to go see that cave. And, and the steamboat track goes on for a while, and then it just kind of <laughs> turns into nothing. Oh yeah, we're getting some views up here now. We are climbing that cliff that we saw that to Fisher Point up here and above Walnut Canyon. First off, it's pretty awesome footing. Second off, starting to get these views. Just a little taste of the climbing that's to come on Eldon. So the vista is over there. You wanna go check it out? Yeah, we're we're out here to point one though. <laughs> <laughs> you may not want to check this out on race day, but today we're they definitely don't gonna make this turn like we are. It would add point one to your race. Point two technically. Point two, yeah. Unless you go over the edge. You got a math guy here. just talking about how uh, thankful I am I got up this morning to come and do this, but also how just amazing this event's gonna be. Hopefully look back in 10 years and how awesome it's gonna be. And now we're, now it's awkward. Yeah, it's <laughs> made it weird. Yeah. But I mean, you are talking to the first podium at this race. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't, we don't quite know the order, but one, two, and three are right here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've got the inside scoop on the route now, so we're not gonna make the mistakes. We're trading beta on if they miss every aid station, I'm giving them advice. And if I run into an aid station, they're telling me how to treat one. <laughs> yeah, so. it's like you are allowed to take from the aid. Yeah, yeah. take food. It is treat permissible. It, treat it like trail magic, and it's not an unsupported effort. You won't get DQ'd or anything. Okay. So. so Fisher Point here, uh, pretty awesome little section and it looks like uh, just ahead here the next mile or so or mile or two um, we're gonna be right on the edge of Walnut Canyon here should make for some pretty amazing miles and if you're running through here in the dark we'll just give you a chance to see it in the light Man goes to edge with selfie. Yeah, this is why you don't go off trail. This is the prime example. I'm not doing one of these numbers. Back up a little bit, back up a little bit. Yeah. Just kidding, don't listen to me right now. <laughs>
14.3 miles into this run. Closing in on three hours and my hips are sore. But this has been a great day so far. It's stayed nice and cool up here. Overcast, we're probably gonna get some rain later. Keep rolling my ankle. This is all kind of picks me up. Yeah. Before Elvin. Once you're, once you're on top of Elvin, the, the next like. All right, we got an awesome canyon there. We've got this really cool overhang. It's the official nap spot of mile. 235. It's amazing how many of these canyons are. This is still Walnut Canyon, I'm assuming, like an offshoot of it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've been on the Arizona Trail for many, many miles now. Where All right, we had a little bit of sleet coming down on us. Blizzard. What is it? Full blizzard. A uh, blizzard. Yeah. So this is going to be the Walnut Canyon aid station right here. In this trailhead parking lot, Arizona. Tra We're still on the Arizona Trail, I guess. Yes, yep, there's the sign. Uh, this is my Arizona Trail here. So we got the official owner of the Arizona Trail. Yeah, Thank I would you. hang my pack off these little hooks because it's each sign. It's a perfect off pack. of Yuma or whatever. Yep, perfect pack hanging spot. So this tips. is the Arizona Trail. It starts here, goes to here. We're like somewhere in here. Well, there's the split in flag, right? right. So we're on sure. the. When I did it, I did this. Yeah, and that way shorter, so Jamil took the easy way out. Yeah, well, I also slack packed the canyon and did some <laughs> other stuff too, so yeah. not really an official, I'm just a cheater. Yeah. Uh, so, so, yeah, we're, uh, I'm assuming the aid will probably just be in this parking lot here, and we're gonna continue on. Uh, we are 16.2 three miles into our day. We're going approximately 35 all the way into downtown Flagstaff. So it's been good so far. It's been good to get up here and looking forward to having some food down in downtown Flag later. It's always nice to have something to look forward to like that. We're gonna go get some more miles in the AZT and Peter's got his car, what, about three and a half miles ahead? Ish. Something like that. <laughs> with some uh, aid station could stuff. Be and there's a rumor that Jeff Browning might be joining us later. So we'll see if that happens. He, I think he's gonna go up and over Eldon with us, which would be pretty cool. It's snowing. <laughs> Sun and snow. Legit what, snow. What more could you want? <laughs> you just hit that like patch. It's like snowing this 10 foot yeah. area. And then blue sky. Where's it coming from? <laughs> there, it's blowing in maybe. It's not even that windy. Yeah. That's awesome. Slow mo gate opening shot. Always remember, close the gate when you're through. <laughs> Please. That's how it's done right there. Yep. The pro. There we go. 
pick a trail, any trail. What's that? Bearing tree? Yeah. Oh. They've got it marked in the bark there. Like South Loop Trail now. It's a nice single track. And we're coming up on the Interstate 40 crossing. Should be a tunnel underneath it. You can see semi trucks up here. Well, I like the colors they used. But yeah, the loop trail says use overpass. We don't want to have to cross the train tracks. This is historic Route 66. Right. This is Route 66? Yeah. Oh yeah, baby. This one goes a long ways and no one drives it anymore, but there's a lot of history. <clears throat> so yeah, I'd say when you're on this bridge, run on the this side, so you can see oncoming traffic. This bridge goes over a bunch of train tracks as you'll see. And then once you get to the other side, you should be able to cross over safely to the other side. Is that where we're going, Peter? That's where we're going. <laughs> all right there. Who knows what kind of weather is up there right now. <laughs> Looks a little misty, yeah. a little foggy. Just like Barkley all over again. Oh yeah. Oh look, we got a train coming right now. Ooh. It's pretty cool. Maybe it's coming, they'll honk for us. It's coming fast. It's pretty freaking quiet. Oh my gosh, yes. There's yeah, another double. one. Hell yeah. Double it. Yes. What timing. God! <laughs> that was so loud! I don't know what he was going to do. I was just like... He actually, he's trying to get the other one too. That was a double win. It was a double win. Classic flag staff. Rail is alive and well, folks. I'm sure my camera was like, yeah. <laughs> the little Ozark Trail plugged with the cooler. All right, mile 28 station here. Wow. Look at this. The trail Angel who happened to run with us. You got beer or your basic bitch, White Claw. I got like toys in here and some stuff, so fuck yourself. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers guys. Halfway. Yep. <laughs> it might be halfway time-wise, we'll see. Hopefully not. Not sure if you can see that, but that's snow. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> Legit. Yeah, it's coming down now. Tickets. Nice. Nothing like an ice cold drink on a nice <laughs> flagstaff Snowy warm day. day. <laughs> I'm so glad I put this on ice. I was really worried might about be. it. I have all my layers on and we're going like 2,000 feet up. <laughs> None of us brought gloves because <laughs> toughness is training. Right. All right, we got some, uh, some snow coming down a little bit. We were stuff. joking about the snow earlier, but it's, it's here. It was now. actually just like a mile ago, it was sunny and uh, getting a bit warm, honestly. Like, yeah. I was a little hot. The trains were waving at us in the sun. <laughs> they were warning us. Are you guys from? I, didn't, I live here. Yeah. I'm yeah. from Phoenix. Phoenix. Yes. It was roasty toasty in Phoenix coming out of there, bro. We left on Easter Sunday at a picket post. It was like 90. That was a hot degrees, day. <laughs> in the afternoon. 
<laughs> after the like nice days at the <laughs> aforementioned yeah. Lazy River. Uh, yep. Now it's snowing. I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the first snow you've gotten. Um, yeah, we got lucky. We missed like it was snowing. I got delayed from Denver. We had that like snow apocalypse thing like a month yep. ago, and then there was a snow here that hit like yeah. down south, and then we missed that because of the delay. And then we took a zero in Tucson and missed like another round of them. And we've been blessed with like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's been hot as like through the Gila was like extraordinarily hot. Dude, Roosevelt yeah. Roosevelt was extraordinarily hot. All right, like 40 minutes later, we're still here at this stop. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we just ran into a couple Arizona Trail through hikers and uh, a couple White Claws deep now. So we're uh, trying to break ourselves away from the dill pickle chips and continue. Yep. This is the White Claw aid station. <laughs> um, and I'm shivering now, so we better get moving and get the blood flowing again. Pete, thanks for parking your car here. This has been great. Yeah. It was fun. During the race, are there going to be white claws here? I mean, we can make that happen. <laughs> I do live here. Let's do an illegal drop. <laughs> Uh, where the hell did Eldon go? <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Back there. Oh. <laughs> so we gotta look really strong in the costume. Okay. Little trail update. It's freezing now. The snow is kind of dispersed, but it's very cold. Eldon is just fogged in <laughs> right now. We're back on the Arizona Trail and making our way across. <laughs> getting dicey back there. We don't quit. <laughs> Say that again? We don't quit. I came into this thinking I would quit, but we don't quit. That's right. No one quits at Coco. We're so Be prepared. You either come prepared or not prepared, but you don't quit. That's right. <laughs> I think we're AZT and Tom Moody. Yeah. Right? All Tom of it. Moody. Just yeah. everything. So straight? Oh, yeah. You're the director. Yeah. I mean, I gotta look it up, man. Normally, yeah, like the loop trail. Oh, hey, Peter, uh, I know you want to check out the water, but come on now. Yeah. You gotta be careful, man. Are you gonna dip your hat in this one this time? Uh, no, I'm good. It's not really warm enough. <laughs> it's snowing. <laughs> this is a natural water source, so we'd recommend filtering here, but. Yeah, I think this is the Rio de Flag. Um, this is the first, this is the first flowing creek we've seen all day, besides the tanks or whatever. If you can make it through without pulling from this source, I would recommend it, but it is here. Yep. If it's hot, you might want to at least dip, but. You could swim in it, it's about a foot deep. PFD, please. Water wings uh, were not <laughs> responsible. I was so hungry on this section of the Arizona Trail. <laughs> Only to find mayonnaise packets at the gas station. <laughs> so for yeah. any runners out there, this gas station does have mayo packets. If you're in a pinch or a bind. Yeah, in a pinch. And you don't have any money. Yep. They're probably free, huh? They're, they frown on free, but they are free. So. Technically free. Yeah. You're gonna want to Picture carry some Canyon. Money. I mean, this is a great spot. You Picture. got some petroglyphs. Picturesque. National treasure. And action. Yeah, down here, if you're here and out of any amenities such as mayo, uh, there's a gas station about 100 yards down to the left before this tunnel under 89. And uh, I found this to be a good spot to resupply on sandwiches and mayo. So, mayonnaise, where it's at, man. Yeah, calories, mm. fat, you know, anything. Yeah. You're gonna need it to get up this thing. Yeah, fuel <laughs> the tank. Up to Eldon we go. Yeah. Yeah, last stop, last pit stop before Eldon. <laughs> All right, 
right, making our approach towards Eldon right now. couldn't tell we gained a Jeff Browning who recently moved to Flagstaff so he's joining us for the final up and over Eldon. Eldon is a huge wall I know it's gonna be tough you guys can do it though it's gonna be epic an epic finish to this race and we're gonna see it right here in a few minutes it is a stout climb that's for sure about 2,000 feet of climb right around one, one mile 245 it's hard to even say that and comprehend it but it's gonna be good. like a snow globe okay so we've got just a couple more switchbacks we'll be at the top and it's gonna be a bomber downhill to uh, the square and flag so we're doing it all right we're up at the pretty close to the high point just below the summit of Eldon here the trail actually stays a little low on sunset there's word of some snow up ahead that'll be fun we're gonna see it <laughs> rumor has it Who's that? Kind of like this. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh, yeah. No pressure. Yeah. You're just being filmed. I'm on TV. All right, we got some deep snow up here still. It's like really deep. Oh. Of snow. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I'm just thinking about the juxtaposition of the start of this race in the desert with the Swaros, and here we are in the Aspens with snow, a whiteout with flurries and wind whipping through the pines up here. You guys are in for something something else here the window to put on this race is so tiny that's what i'm thinking yeah <laughs> there's still a little snow on the cocodona course we're at the little traverse at the kind of the high point hopefully it's gone in another couple weeks Oh man, that was epic. That is some deep snow. My hands are completely numb now. And wind is really whipping. I'm getting some, the snow is like going uphill. Woohoo! Yee hee hee!
GoPro died, but we just exited the Coconino National Forest. We're now in Buffalo Park and we will run down this wide open area and then we'll be on the streets of Flagstaff. We're probably less than two miles to the finish right now. I'm really glad I came out for this section. It was great to see it. That climb up Eldon is a tough one, but from there in is probably the most perfect finish of a race. You're on the fire road for a few miles. It's nice, easy, downhill, smooth running. And you hop on the Arizona Trail. And again, nice, easy, flowy single track all the way to here. And you can see this is Buffalo Park, nice wide open. Behind us, we've got Eldon that we climbed. We got some random through hiker here. I don't know who this guy is. You know where the Arizona Trail is? No clue, man. I think I don't think we're in Arizona anymore. Doesn't look like Arizona. We ran far enough to get out of it. That's for sure. Where it happens. I don't know. We made Somewhere it to Fla we made, made it to Flagstaff. Doesn't that count? We started in Flagstaff. What did we even do? We finally made it to town after oh. 35 miles. Man. So. What's the uh, what's the route from here? So uh, we're at the base of the hospital, uh, on top of Hospital Hill. So we're gonna go up the road here. Wait, there's a hill. Going down. <laughs> oh, going down. Cool. I like so, that. Yeah, we're gonna be going up one street up, cutting left over uh, past the hospital and then it's all downhill. It's gonna be good stuff. Okay, we're officially on Beaver Street, which is the basically the final street leading us to downtown. We'll cut over to the square, right by the hospital here. And today's run, we're 36, 36 miles in. Did a little extra to the outlook out. What a day. This is gonna be it. Yeah. Here he comes, here he comes. Coming in strong, right through the alley, right, 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 right. Oh, turn ahead. You're so close, you're so close. Woo! Here we are. So this is it. Here's our finish area, Heritage Square, downtown Flagstaff. Longer than that. 916, maybe. Struggle to give us a few extra minutes. Mm -hmm. So here we are, downtown area. Right. Are these up year round? These Ramadas? Um, I think so, yeah. That's great. Yeah. I mean, they kept the Christmas decorations up at least. Yeah. Yeah. Not fun sometimes, but mostly fun. Hey, let's do yeah. it again in a couple weeks. Yeah. Let's go longer. Okay. I think we can get into flow state better. Heavy. I want to get in heavy flow state. We can definitely stretch it over a few days, make it more fun. I might not run so fast early on the next time. I didn't know we'd be pushing 40 miles. Yeah, 30, 37. Hey man, but you're looking great. 